Hi, my friends. Welcome to day 20 of small video tips to make a big difference. I am your host, Renee Marino, and I'm so happy to be here with you all on this beautiful Tuesday. I don't know about where you are, but here in New Jersey, it is like a gorgeous, perfect autumn day. You know, when the sun's shining, it's a light breeze, feels good. You can feel like the pumpkin spice lattes in the air. That is what it feels like today. What is today's topic? Let's find out how do I deal with video criticism? I have received this fear from so many individuals who have joined the face group, Facebook group who talk about what they're scared of the most when it comes to getting on video. And there have been so many comments about how do I deal with criticism? What do I do when people criticize me? So before we get into it, I want you to tell me who is here in the chat. Hi, Shelly. Happy to see you, my friend. I want to welcome you all. Oh, guys, it looks like I'm naked. I'm not naked. Can you see? I'm, look, I have a shirt on. I promise. <laughs> it's not getting crazy in here. You know what I'm saying? I have my butterfly earrings on. I got all ready for you guys because I love you. So tell me in the chat box where you're tuning in from. I love to know. I love to hear. I will tell you that um, this was a very crazy five days. Um, the storm really hit us badly here, Ida, in New Jersey. And my in-laws, oh my goodness, home just got flooded. The basement is done. I mean done. And we're grateful it could have been way worse. They're out and they, they got out safely, but tons of damage. So my husband, myself, friends of ours, all on Saturday, we're taking stuff out of the basement. It's just, it's been a lot. So I just want to say that I'm very, very grateful to, to be here each day right? I think it's so important. I, I heard today in a clubhouse room, someone said, it's not like the beginning of your life and the end of your life. Each day is the beginning and the end, right? And then you wake up the next day, you're blessed to wake up. And it's like, that's the beginning in the morning. And then when you go to bed, that's the end. And if we can think of that each day and remind ourselves that we have a new chance every day, we truly have a new chance to begin again every moment. Um, and going through something like that, like with the storm, how things ha change like that. Like one minute we were sitting on the couch, the next thing I know, my husband's running out of the house. He's trying to get his parents out of their house. It was just insane. And it goes to show you how things can change so quickly in this life. So let's be grateful. Let's tackle our fears. Let's get on video. Stop being held back because people need to hear our messages. People need to hear our messages. And when we get on video, we allow that to happen. So a little love for you. Let's talk about how to deal with criticism. First and foremost, I want you to get into the habit. When you see criticism, if you go on video and there is a criticism to be had, I want you to go, whoo! And I want you to celebrate it. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Why? Because that shows you that people are watching. And what you're putting out there is worth watching. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any criticism. So celebrate it. Celebrate it, celebrate it, celebrate it. And I know you're probably like, Renee, that is crazy. Why would I celebrate if someone makes a negative comment about me, why would I celebrate if they said something that hurt my feelings and they said, oh, she's not good on video. Oh, you talk weird. Oh, you look funny. Guess what? They're watching. They are watching. Because the truth is, if you weren't worth watching, they wouldn't even be wasting their time, right? So I want you to celebrate it when you get criticism. Because here's the truth. 
when you think about the biggest celebrities in the world who are in movies and television or talk shows, do you think with all of their millions of followers that they don't get criticism? You are sadly mistaken. Because the bigger you get, the more that you have to share, the more messages you have to come across, the more criticism you're going to face. And if you can learn to celebrate it now on a small scale, when that day comes and you're getting on videos like left and right confidently, you're going to be so ready when you receive some of that negative feedback. And you're going to realize right away to filter it through that, through that, thought of positivity, right? And filter it through that, that thought of, ooh, this is actually a good sign, right? This means something. Hello, please tell me who it is who just said hello and waved. I just see Facebook user. So let me know who that is. And if this feels good, that the first step is to celebrate, I want you to write yes in the chat box. Write yes in the chat box. I'm telling you, it is so, yes, I love it. I love it. It is so powerful to do this. It is so powerful to realize that it is to be celebrated. Hello, Daniela from Glendale, Arizona. I'm so happy that you're here. Patricia here, I love it, all my friends. So when you get a, a feedback that you feel is less than desirable, I want you to quickly catch it and flip it around and say, nope, this is good. This means that I'm worth watching, baby. This means that people are listening when I talk. And pat yourself on the back, jump up, dance around a little bit. Get excited because that is a great sign. Then I want you to say to yourself, okay, let me take a step back and ask myself, is there anything in this comment that I could learn from? Now, here's the deal. I have gotten some horrible messages when I go live and I mean things that I'm like, whoa. And right away, because I'm used to doing this, I know how to filter what could be helpful criticism and what is just people being, what's the word? There's like trolling, you know what I mean? You know the difference. Because one is like, um, just coming from a place of, I wanna hurt you. And in other cases, some of that negative feedback or what you're seeing as negative feedback could be something that you could take to help you. And that in itself turns into a beautiful gift, right? For example, if someone got on here right now and they're like, oh my God, you're like yelling at us. I can't even pay attention to what you're saying because you're talking so loud. At first look, that might feel like, oh, right? You feel like, a punch to the gut. But then I flip it and say, ooh, well, first of all, they're paying attention to me, so that's good. They're paying attention to this live video. And second of all, am I maybe talking too loud? Like maybe I actually am at a volume that's pushing people away. So let me check in with myself and and use this as a as a piece of positive feedback. Right? And then next time I go on video, I'm gonna check myself instead of being like, hey, right? I might be like, hold on. Let me take a breath. Let me make sure, as I talked about last week in our video tip and trick, let me make sure that the volume I'm using is not screaming to someone across an arena, but it's also not whispering that it's in the middle a medium sized room and I'm grabbing the attention of a friend. That's the volume I want to use. And through that feedback, I now have the wherewithal to keep myself in check. So when I go on video to speak, I'm reminding myself, Renee, you want to make sure that you're speaking at a level that people are actually able to hear you. 
And what just happened, my friends, that negative comment just turned into positive feedback for me. If this feels good, I want you to write hell yes in the chat box. I love that. Feedback is neutral. I love that. Now, as I said before, you're going to be able to discern when, when someone or, or people are, are just, you know, coming out, out of the woodwork to just hurt you or to say something to drag you down. You can feel the difference. But sometimes that feedback, something that they, they give off that to them may just be honest, you may take at first as negative, but then when you take a step back, you take a breath, you realize, ooh, I could use this for me. This is not happening to me. It's happening for me as the incredible man, the myth, the legend, Tony Robbins says, right? This is happening for me, not to me. So thank you, Jack, for that piece of feedback. Because at first I was upset and now I realize this is all for me. Yes. I got hell yes, yes in the chat box. That is great. Yes, someone said, it's how we react to the feedback, 100%. How we react is what's most important because we always have a choice. And trust me, as you all may know, I was a professional actress for literally most of my life. So if you want to talk about having to deal with feedback, negative and positive, right here, I'm the girl to talk to you about it. And you come to realize the more experience you have, the more you put yourself on video, the more you put yourself out there, you start to develop what we call in the business that thick skin, right? Thick skin so that every little thing that someone says to you doesn't attack you, but you start to repel. If it's not for you, you can repel it. But what I want you to do is before you repel it, take a second, take a breath, take a step back and ask yourself, how can I use this for me? How can I use this for me? Yes. Daniela says, thank you for caring enough about me to give me feedback. Exactly, girlfriend. High five through the screen. I love it. Yes. Right? Start to say thank you. Thank you for caring so much about me that you're, you're giving me feedback. Thanks. That's really kind of you. <laughs> And the more you start to do this, the less that these negative comments and the, the, this, these negative pieces of feedback have on you, right? You control the narrative. You control the narrative. And I'll tell you, when my mother, my whole, and my mom's going to be here in a little while, she'll tell you. When I, all my years as an actor, and I'd come home, you guys, after, I mean, hours of auditioning, backpacks on my shoulders, running around New York City, singing, dancing, acting, this, and getting cut. And then sometimes saying, oh, Renee, you're not this enough. You're not that enough. You're not this enough. My mother, and still to this day, will say it. She goes, I don't know how you do it. How do you deal with the constant rejection? How do you deal with getting caught up in this in this in this world where people all day long are telling you you're not good enough or you're not tall enough or you look too Italian or you don't look Italian enough how do you deal with that and the way that I learned to deal with it is what I am teaching you right this is what I'm teaching you here as your coach if you can flip the script on that criticism and turn it into a positive, you will become so powerful because then nothing gets you down, my friends, because everything you're using for you, everything that you're getting, every piece of feedback you're getting is fueling you. It's helping you to grow. It's helping you to get better and better and better. So every time you get a piece of negative criticism, you're going to say thank you. First thing, yes, baby. Woo! You're going to jump up and scream, yes, thank you. And then you're going to take that step back and you're going to ask yourself, could this help me in any way, shape, or form? Could this help me in any way, shape, or form? Any questions? Any questions for me, my lovely people? I love this topic. I love it. Flip the script. That's right. Flip the script. Boop. Nope. 
you're not taking me down. No, you're not. You know, my favorite movie franchise is Rocky. Big Rocky fan. Woo! And, um, you know, he says, Rocky Balboa, he says, it's not how many times you get hit. It's how many times you can get hit and come back. Right? How many times you can bounce back from that. And when you learn to be, like, you know those things, you guys, that, like, that, like, float in the wind, you know? And you can't really knock it down because it just comes back up. Like, you could punch it and it goes down for a second, but then it comes back up. That is what I want you to turn into. I don't know the name of those things. But I want you to turn into one of those wavy things that you just can't get down because they just keep popping back up and coming to get you. That is how resilient I want you to become because by being able to flip the script and make everything work for you, you are going to be unstoppable and that will no longer be an excuse for you not to get on video, right? That will no longer be an excuse for you not to get on video. Yes, Daniela says, use the feedback and build on it. 100% sister. Yes. I am so grateful that you are all here with me. This means the world. I don't do this for any other reason, right? I'm not getting paid to do this. This is because I love you guys and I want to share these tips with you because you can use these every day, right? Every time you get on video, these easy, simple tips you can use to help you immediately.